Hello, everyone. Welcome. I'm Connie Douglas from Great Stamping with Connie. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Ontario, Canada, and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Hope you're uh, all set up to do some crafting. Perhaps you saw my Facebook post earlier today with all the items you need to gather, and you're all ready to go with the crafting. So uh, give me a hello. Let me know that you're here and you're joining me, and uh, let me know if you're just watching tonight or if you're at crafting along and we'll uh, we'll get ready to get started. I'm just going to uh, get this up here on uh, here so I can so I can have you join me and I can see that you're joining me and and all that good stuff. So I don't know sometimes this thing just doesn't scroll. You know it's one of those technology things I think. Why does it not go any further than this? <laughs> One of these days, I will figure out how it works. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. So I don't know what your day was like. I had um, I had a very busy day today. It was uh, it was fun. I went back and did something that uh, I haven't actually done since before COVID. Hello, Lorna. Happy Friday to you too. So I worked as a server today um, at Blue Mountain. Before COVID, I, for the last five summers, five summers before COVID, I worked as a server up at my cottage, um, one restaurant I was at for four years, and then they retired. And that was really sad because it was a really great place to work. Family owned, uh, country diner, and just an awesome couple to work for. And good staff, good crew, good clients, you know, it was lovely. Uh, but all good things must come to an end, right? And so then I uh, switched to another place. And it was, it was awesome, too, because it was just a breakfast and lunch restaurant, which meant I didn't have to work nights. <laughs> so uh, that was kind of nice, because uh, it meant I had my evenings free at the cottage. And that was kind of lovely. And then, uh, and then this thing called COVID hit and all the restaurants got shut down. And then even last summer, uh, I just kind of decided that it wasn't really where I wanted to be. But uh, anyway, it uh, <laughs> and I did I am not working there. It's not a regular gig, but they sent an email yesterday afternoon from uh, Banquet Services at Blue Mountain saying, can anybody help? We're um, we're really short staffed and we need people to help. And if you have experience, that's great. And if you don't, we'll train you. <laughs> so uh, anyway, I have experience and it's something I haven't done for a while. It was kind of interesting when I actually talked to the, the guy that was doing the hiring. He's like, okay, do you have black pants? Um, do you happen to have black shoes? Do you happen to have a black button, button shirt <laughs> or collared shirt? And it's like, Yes, I have all those things. I have done this. So uh, anyway, it was uh, it was great. So I went in today. I started at six this morning because it it was a conference. So uh, they were there for breakfast break, lunch break, and then uh, the next shift was doing dinner tonight. I wasn't there for that, but uh, yeah. So it was an early morning. I would, <laughs> I set the alarm for four fifteen. Ah, I don't even do that when I'm teaching skiing. <laughs> But anyway, it was uh, it was a good day. It was fun. It was kind of kind of neat to be back. I've I've never done banquet before, so that was new. But you know, all the same sorts of tasks, just in one big room, and you don't have to take people's orders. <laughs> they get what they get. So anyway, that was my day. So uh, I hope you had a good day, and uh, thank you so much for being here. Let's get to some crafting. So I also need to know if there's any Blue Jay fans in the house. <laughs> it is uh, the Blue Jays season opener is tonight. So they are, um, they were doing introductions of starting lineups and players and people not playing. And <laughs> yes, it was very early Lorna, but you know what? It, uh, I said, it's only one day. I can do one day. <laughs> So when I was leaving, apparently uh, this conference goes on tomorrow morning again. Uh, they're there for uh, breakfast and break. And so people are like, oh, are you coming in tomorrow? It's like, oh, Tyler didn't ask me to. So, oh, well, you should tell me you can. And could you please? And um, 
was like, well, he just needs to let me know. But uh, anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> I haven't heard that they need me. So perhaps they do not need me. But it, that would be two mornings. But that's it. <laughs> There's another another big something in a couple weeks. But I don't know. I don't. I said I don't want this to be my regular gig. But I wouldn't mind helping out if they're stuck. It's kind of a interesting sort of thing. But anyway, yes. Ah, so you have the game on and you're crafting. I love it. I love it. I, Lorna, I don't know whether you know Jen Fowler. Um, possibly not. She was in Girl Guides. She did crafting with me. <laughs> she used to come to my classes when I was in Markham all the time. And she, <laughs> we made a rule round about this time every year that if we were crafting on a night that the Blue Jays were playing, it was completely completely acceptable to have the game on I had a little tv in the kitchen in Markham so the game would always be on there and we um I didn't have a craft studio in that house so we crafted in the kit in the dining room area the eating area I only had one um so we crafted at the table and cut in the kitchen and stuff and the game would be on it and that was okay it was our rule so <laughs> yes um I don't have I have a TV that's down here, but it's not hooked up to the cable or, or whatever you call your TV where you get where you get your Rogers service. I don't even know what they call it cable anymore, but I don't have that. So so the game's on upstairs and I am down in the craft studio right now. But after this, I'm heading up. <laughs> OK, so let's get to the craft day. We have a standard card base, eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. And there's, I noticed, you know, as I was uh, doing this, I was like, oh my gosh, there's not really a whole lot of pieces for this because I cut some extras. So a uh, piece of designer series paper that is two and a half by five. And this is from the Penny um, Penny Home, something, Blessings of Home, whatever, something like that. That's where all my paper is from tonight. So. A uh, piece of cardstock, two and three quarters by five and a quarter. I'm not going to tell you, but guess where that's going? Hmm. <laughs> uh, a strip for your sentiment, and hopefully you found a sentiment that will fit on a strip. If you have uh, something larger for a sentiment, like a, a die cut or a punch or something, that's fine. Um, you can rearrange bits and pieces on your card. I, I'm using a strip. And then I hope this was clear. So um, this was the easy one, the usuals, you know, saying stamps, ink, adhesive, bone folder, paper snips, embellishments, all that sort of stuff. So then I said punch or punches because I wasn't sure. Hello, Donna, you're just watching tonight. That's awesome. Um, to create card elements. And I didn't really know exactly how to explain this, but there's I was hoping you would see these bits and pieces and uh, kind of have a bit of an idea. Um, so we're going to punch some stuff out or die cut some shapes or something, and then they are going to be uh, elements on our card. So I'm going to use, I actually have the, the big daisy punch and the, the smaller one. I just put one in the picture. So, um, and there is a daisy stamp. So that's why I was thinking, you know, if you want to stamp and then punch, that's fine, or if you just want to punch or whatever, depending on what your shape is, you might need some stamping, or maybe you can tell what it is. But anyway, that's what this that's what this was trying to tell you. So I hope hopefully you understood that. Okay, and this is just my base piece to collect it all. Okay, so first thing we are going to do, we will uh, stamp our sentiment on your strip or on your uh, your die cut or punch, whatever you're using for your sentiment. So uh, just go ahead and put, uh, put a sentiment on there. I am using the happy birthday because it was sitting on my desk. <laughs> um, this is, oh, this is from the Waves of the Ocean stamp set. So I am just going to not sure I got that straight, but we'll see in a moment. Oh, yes, I did. That's quite lovely, actually. <laughs> Quit while you're ahead. <laughs> so, Donna, we're doing a survey. Do you have the blue?
Blue Jay game on. It is their home opening game today. I, I need to know where my Blue Jay fans are. Don't know if, if you're a, a baseball gal or not, Donna, but you can let us know. So. Okay. And then uh, if you are using a strip, you just want to cut that to size. And you can angle the ends or banner cut the ends or uh, leave them square, whatever you like. Uh, I am going to bring in my tailored tag punch to banner them. <laughs> when I pulled this out tonight, it was like, hmm, what am I going to use when this one retires? What, uh, what else do I have that will make banner ends? I'm not sure yet. I haven't, this hasn't officially retired. Tax says scored. Uh, already. <laughs> I hate you, Lorna. Okay, no, I don't hate you. It's not your fault, but thank you for telling me. I love you. <laughs> okay, so there is my sentiment. And then you want to uh, punch or die cut or whatever whatever shapes you have decided that you are using. And I am going to use, I'm going to use one of the small uh, daisies, but I'm going to use two of the big ones. And these I'm not gonna stamp, I'm just gonna leave these plain white. Um, I have another card. I didn't, I will confess, I did not get any other cards made because I wasn't actually planning to work today. They sent the email it was around three o'clock yesterday. You had to respond by six o'clock. And uh, at that point, I kind of had, you know, my day was sort of set. So I did get, I did get a few things done. And I said to Steve, I said, you know what? I planned and prepped my um, craft along stuff for tomorrow night. I took the picture. I just have to do the post. I haven't done that yet, but I, I did start on this today which is perhaps a little bit in advance of when I sometimes do it. <clears throat> yes. Uh, so it's like, it was almost like I knew I needed to get a bit of a jump on it. So, All right. So I did have, that was well in hand, but I usually like to make some, some additional samples for you. And I didn't, they're all started. There's all sorts of bits and pieces on my table here. So. So there's the two daisies. I just uh, alternate, crisscross them. And then the little one just adds a little more depth. I don't always do the third one, but I just kind of like it just for a little extra, extra poof. Oh, and I kind of need a couple of these. You, uh, depending on the size of what your element is, you will want two or possibly three of these things. Hopefully you have enough uh, enough paper handy there. If you don't, feel free to run and grab some more. I happen to have a whole bunch of white card stocks sitting here because I wasn't sure exactly what I was doing when I was prepping. So I just grabbed a whole, a whole bunch of pieces. So I'm good, but if you need to get more, please feel free to do so. And I am using a retired three quarter inch circle punch. <laughs> there were some of us that were sort of hoping they might bring these back this year and they did not in the annual catalog, but, but we're hopeful, we're thinking that maybe next year because they'll have been gone uh, for two whole calendar years and we think it's time. So it's all of the Maybe I have one. If I can get another, another leaf out of this, I don't think it's quite wide enough. But <laughs> as we learned the other night, now I just have to be careful because if I do it. Hmm, this could be a little tricky because I can't really tell. I think I'm going to. I might have to run and get another piece of cardstock <laughs> if this because I don't really need this piece, but of course 
I had to do it because I had to put the piece in far enough. Uh oh, it looks like we may be all right. Yes, we will be fine. Look at that. Ta da! So there's the. Uh, <laughs> that's the last two times I've been on here. Uh, we've economized on our <laughs> cardstock use because I haven't had enough cardstock at my table with me. So, but no one will know. And that was that was my tip the other night. And I share it with you again. And then I actually maybe it was yesterday at lunch break. Okay, so if you uh, if you need to stamp or you need to color or you need to glue bits together or whatever you need to do, assemble your uh, your pieces. And if you've done all that, because I'm slow and you're fast, um, you get to watch the baseball game. Well, I finished this bit. Didn't quite get the petals as nice on that one. I think with the third layer. See, that's the other thing. When you do the third layer, it sort of it hides it hides any uh, misses that you may have. I'm just going to put that right in the middle of that, and I will embellish with some leaves, but I'm not sure where. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so there's all your pieces, or my pieces. Hopefully, you have your pieces. And I just bring this in and give it a fold. So, Steve and I were thinking <laughs> that we wanted to get one more. Uh, one more ski day in because the last time we went, we had sort of thought, oh, this might be the last time we go, but we went and there was actually, there was still a, like a ton of snow piled on the hill so that, you know, it's like, well, they can groom that out to cover up any uh, bare spots that get created and stuff. And uh, so we could probably come back again. So then it's sort of like, okay, so we didn't really plan that it would be our last day. And I got an email today saying that uh, <laughs> Blue Mountain always likes to ski Easter weekend. It's like their thing. It's like, oh, we skied on Easter weekend. <laughs> I guess it's a big time for uh, people to come up or something because it always seems to be on their list of things that they are hoping to do. Um, so anyway, we got an email that they are not going to be open during the week, this coming week. Uh, they're hoping to reopen <laughs> something about the Easter Bunny, and they hope he, uh, you know, <laughs> he saves the snow for our. I didn't even read the whole email. The bottom line was that um, you can't ski during the week, this coming week. And I actually looked at the hill uh, today when I was leaving. There's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of dirt showing. So. I came home and I said to Steve, I said, I think we're done. We were thinking we might go out on Monday because it's actually supposed to be a little colder at night over the weekend and stuff. And we thought, um, thought perhaps that we could get out on Monday, but not if it's not open, we can't. So, and I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to ski Easter weekend. I don't know for sure what we're doing. Hoping to see my daughter one of the days, but that may be Good Friday. Uh, I don't know. It's weird. You know, I don't know about you guys. Do you, <laughs> I'm so out of practice of planning, you know, family get togethers for holidays because we have done so little of it for the last couple of years. And uh, so I haven't really, haven't really gotten on to that. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, don't really know what we're doing for Easter. <laughs> we will see my daughter for sure. I mentioned it to her and she didn't have, they hadn't, hadn't heard plans from uh, her dad or uh, Nino's family at all. So we, we will see them. But yeah, it's just, uh, it's been kind of different. <laughs> so do this. I'm not sure I need two leaves on all of these things. So once you have all your elements ready, um, 
I guess you saw that I <laughs> layered that up. That was kind of an obvious one. Uh, then you just sort of put it all together, however you like the look. And you do it something like that. But I don't, I don't think I need four of these to make it like a little bit, a, a little bit too much. I think I'm just going to do one. I think I will just, you know, pick a spot on the flower to put this because I can always um, rotate the flower. <laughs> I'm just right there. put this one on the flower and then I can adhere them in a direction that works. So I think I'm just gonna kind of sort of lay these down so I have a bit of an idea where I want my sentiment. When I <laughs> well as I as I already fessed up I have not actually fully made one of these cards yet but I did put a sentiment onto one of it. This was the order of operation I used, and it seemed to work, so I'm sticking with it. <laughs> so. If you have uh, something where um, you don't have to adhere the whole thing, it can look good if you just let a lot of it kind of float. So. Oh. Alrighty, and then I was thinking just a little bit of bling, a little bit of sparkle in the center of my flower. Thinking might like maybe not quite the center, maybe maybe an edge, but in this middle part. Something down there. This one here. And there you have it. Does that look, uh, looks a little bit like that there. Now it just looks like they're random. <laughs> Before it looked like they were supposed to be lining up or something. Something ridiculous that I didn't really want. So there's your card. That is one card. These are um, actually rather quick to put together, but um, really kind of fun. And that's as much as I got made, but I have everything else planned. I just need to see. So I was going to do the dragonfly garden. For some reason, I thought this guy was going away, but he is not. He is uh, he is in the catalog for next year. So that's kind of a fun thing. I love love this. It um, I use that guy a lot. Um, just as a you know, flower, flower spray, long and tall. So, put this guy on to here. And then I was going to use um, more of this paper. This is from the same pack of paper. This is the one with the, the bees on it. And it is. Uh, cinnamon cider and pale papaya. So that's where my colors have come from for this card. I don't know about you, but when I have long and narrow, I actually find it easier to center it when I do it that way. It's just how my eyes work, I guess. <laughs> so this is pale papaya, and I'm hoping it is large enough <laughs> to get two dragonflies, I think that it is, and I'm stamping them with cinnamon cider, so tons of paper, tons. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to punch it out. <laughs> it's like, where should I put this? 
<laughs> where's the most efficient place to put it? But I <laughs> don't know that there's going to be enough left to worry about anyway. And uh, if you're making more than one, you will need to stamp another sentiment. I actually uh, have some more stamps on my desk, so I did do a thinking of you already in the cinnamon cider, so I don't need I don't need to do that one again. I came down. We finished dinner at six. I said I'm going to go down. I'm going to set some stuff up, and then I can come back up and watch the beginning of the baseball game. I was thinking perhaps I might even see the first pitch, but you know, there's so many introductions and uh, you know awards and things that they do that uh, that was not going to happen. But uh, anyway, oh, forgot about this. I don't think it's going to touch, but I am just going to cut this out just to be sure. Because I forgot about the little top guy there. Didn't want to punch into this dragonfly with the top of the other punch. That makes any more sense. Oops. There we go. And now this paper definitely won't <laughs> won't be worth saving, but that's okay. Just a little bit of cardstock. So there is a carton sitting upstairs at my front door that arrived today. I'm thinking it might be my catalogs. I haven't opened it. Uh, last time I checked, they weren't supposed to be coming until Monday, but it's it's not a huge box and it's heavy. <laughs> so and I was like, okay, what did I order? I don't know that I ordered anything else. I was usually stamping up stuff. Oh, Texas is ahead three nothing. <laughs> Call the first and there is no one out there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. A little opening day jitters or something going on there. <laughs> Steve just came down to tell me the score and give me all the bad news. Lauren is watching the game. She's keeping me posted. Okay. So <laughs> Historically, the Jays have not done well on opening day, though, so, you know, we'll adjust our expectations. They just get so excited, and I have to think, you know, they're still, they are still a young club, um, but how exciting would it be for so many of these guys that have not, well, <laughs> they haven't had an opening day at home in their own stadium <laughs> uh, since they joined the Blue Jays, right? <laughs> because we haven't had one in a few years so um, i suspect there's a whole lot of you know excited guys around that are maybe not not going to play at their the peak of what they will play at <laughs> tomorrow even <laughs> probably right it's off in the way here and get the the opening day jitters and they will play much better the next day but Anyway, we'll see. It's early. <laughs> baseball, good break. First inning, there's a whole lot more baseball to come. You never know. But just not the sort of start that you were hoping for. <laughs> okay. So we need some dimensionals on these guys. So uh, this is Friday, coming to the weekend, but um, I have not decided what I'm going to do for uh, Monday night's that fancy. So if there's something, something on your mind, something you'd like to see, something you can think about, uh, let me know. Maybe I can incorporate it, or maybe, <laughs> maybe that'll be what we do. 
<laughs> flat out <laughs> because I was say hey, I have not planned anything yet. But always like to be what you would like to see and I always hope that you enjoy them, but if there is something in particular that you would like to see or do, then let me know. I'm trying to think of whether I've done any any fancy folds lately or 3D. Um, we haven't done any 3D stuff for a little while. I know uh, <laughs> one of the one of the ladies on on my team wants to make boxes. So we're going to do a team crafting day uh, and make some boxes because she wants to have boxes to uh, package cards up so she can gift them and sell them and that sort of thing. I do have kind of a cool little container for note cards. I haven't made it yet. I was watching a video, video the other day, you know, <laughs> gathering ideas. There we go. Now, what kind of kind of bling shall we put on these guys? I have these uh, these in color gems. They're just not. I don't think we want pale papaya. That will just fade. But we also have cinnamon cider. But they're not really blingy. They're nice. I like them. But they're not bling blingy. That's a word. Uh, what else do we have? Here, like some of these sequins, these guys sparkle. They're sort of orange. These are more color. They may disappear as well. I wonder if I should just go with, uh, you know, when in doubt, I reach for my clear rhinestones because they just go on everything. But I didn't bring them here. They're right here. Handy. So maybe, maybe clear rhinestones, eh? Do we think? Let's put these things back in here. Get them out of the way. A couple of these guys, right? It just, or we could go with gold. Maybe gold. Or champagne. Oh, <laughs> see? Here's the problem. Too many options. So there's kind of. It's orange again, so it will kind of uh, fade in, but it's sparkly. But here's, oh no, gold, maybe gold. Let's go with gold rather than the clear rhinestones, which are, I think of them as more as silver. But uh, gold, okay, see? If Lorna says gold, then it should be gold because, uh, again, that's Lorna's thing. <laughs> Lorna's the, where is always good at this now? That's this. Are these too big? No, I think that will work. Alrighty. I think these gilded gems are going with it too. These were nice. Um, all faceted and shiny and stuff. But that's okay. There's new ones coming. Oh my gosh. I've ordered embellishments. My my pre-order comes on Monday. Woo! exciting stuff um, and then I have to start playing because I have to start making some samples so I can share them with you hmm, does that look weird it might be too big I think it's too big because you can't see anything of his head around it I should have used the medium one I think I'm going to see if I can pull these off of here and put on the next smallest size. I think this might work better. If you see, see, I think if you see some of the cardstock around it, it, it looks a little bit more real. I just looked like something on the top of my, my piece of paper that looked a little odd. So I think that's a little better. I know it's probably still hard to see on camera, but um, this one can be a little bit low. But I think when you can just see a little bit of cardstock around the top 
off edge. It doesn't look like something like just protruding from the top of the dragonfly. It looks more like it's his shiny head. So there we go. And I have one more. And we still won't take the full hour. And that's okay. But I will show you. I should have shown you the back of the the back of all of the paper in this Blessings of Home pack is all different wood grains. So I thought that I would use the wood grain for one of them. Um, also because as you can see I'm using real red and <laughs> there's no real red in that package. So um so this is what I'm gonna do. Uh, Lauren has a question. What does the hostess code do when I place an order? Uh, the hostess code, if um, if we have someone that's actually hosting a, an online workshop or something, um, it would gather all the orders together. Oh, paper you're using, good stuff. Uh, so that people could um, gather up the orders and then they may qualify for host rewards. I set up host rewards for uh, some of the things that I do and I encourage people to use that because that allows me to use the host rewards to get gems and things that sometimes arrive uh, in your little thank you card uh, for your order. Or if you are, um, when you get the class kit for free, it helps me buy the supplies for that. So, so that I can continue to provide uh, things to you for low cost, no cost, uh, or give you little thank you gifts uh, and still run my business <laughs> as a business. So that is why I um, invite people to use a host code when they are placing an order. It just helps. It can help towards that. Depends on how many orders there are and how long the host, what I've been doing with the host code or whatever, but that is, the reason uh, for that, Lorna. So, uh, and why I why I ask people to do that for me. <laughs> so, because I like to send send people things, um, and I like to be able to offer, you know, free class kits and those sorts of things. So, that's how that goes. So, yes, good choice. It is a good choice. And I don't know what you're putting on top, Lorna, but I will show you what I am putting on top. I actually did three for this card. Check it out. Aren't they cute? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm in love. <laughs> so this is um, Hello Ladybug is the stamp set. And... Uh, my ladybug go. It is a punch. <laughs> I have way too many punches on my table and I don't see that one. I can only find where all this stuff. No. It's a ladybug. Oh, here it is. It's at the back. Ladybug builder. Is that that's gonna be too shiny? Can you see it here? So here's the ladybug. Uh, there's the body. And there's the wings, which could end up being a bunch of other things or a few other things anyway, uh, but I haven't done that yet. And so I punched the, <laughs> oh no, <laughs> whether you recall, I, I used the ladybug punch for the very first time one of these nights. I don't remember whether it was a craft along or that's fancy, uh, but in a card and I had punched the body in red and the wings in black because that's what I was thinking was the speed. And I painted the wings with Wink and Stella, so they were very shiny. It was all very lovely. And then I'm looking at, at them and I'm thinking, that's kind of backwards. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh well. Anyway, um, you know, they're cards. Who says your ladybug can't be uh, red body and black wings? So those were, but these ones I did black body and red wings. And then, um, I had just punched out the red, but then I thought, oh, look, ladybug wing dots. I could put those on. So the black dots on here are just stamped on. But are are they not the cutest thing? <laughs> I just, I love this little, little guy, little girl. Are, can you have a boy 
ladybugs. There's tonight's tonight's test tricky test question. Can you have boy ladybugs? <laughs> and do you have to call it a man bug? Or do you call it a man ladybug? <laughs> Inquiring minds want to know. You think I need to get a life? <laughs> <laughs> so I had these all put together. See, I did get these done, but that should go somewhere. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that cute? <laughs> oh, that's cute. What are we gonna put on here? We have to put some gems on. We got. You gotta have a little bling over here, right? A good break. Maybe she should wear pearls. <laughs> Okay, so see now black to me, that's more silver. So we could put some of these clear rhinestones. Look, I have pearls. We could give her pearls, but I think they might get a little lost on the white card base. So we'll use the we'll use the sparkly stuff. We want the big guy. And I'm not gonna put this on the ladybug because I'm not really sure where it should go so we'll just do them here oopsie there we go close that i ordered me another one of these pokey tools as well so now i have one for my front desk and my back desk and uh <laughs> or i have one for <laughs> it's here and the other one i'm not sure where it is it's buried on my desk somewhere how's that <laughs> so there we go look at that aren't they kind of fun okay so this one looks a little to me this one's a little plain in comparison to the others they might i, I don't know what it needs but maybe a third might be a little, I was thinking it was a little big to do a third. Although I do like this paper, I like that it shows. But anyway, it is what it is. Let me just. By the end of the evening, I can never find my mouse <laughs> because I've just, you know, I've tossed everything over to the side here, and it's like, where's the mouse? I want to come back onto the screen with you. Okay, there we go, and I am back. <laughs> so. Those are the cards for tonight. Done. 45 minutes. That's pretty reasonable. I had a few things prepped. I didn't have to completely make three cards. But uh, anyway, I hope you like those cards. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed your time tonight. I'm listening to me babble on. And, you know, trials and tribulations of my day. What can I say? But uh, anyway, it is Friday. I hope everyone has an absolutely awesome weekend. and. Uh, we will see you all again soon. Thanks so much for coming by. Um, please do share this video with others. Um, if you can put it onto your uh, page for friends or family to see, I would really appreciate that. So let me just check one last time. Oh, Donna, you love them. Thank you so much. Lauren, oh, lots of fun. It, you know what? It's crafting. It's always fun, isn't it? It's just good. I got a funny light again. <laughs> Is that a little better? A little better. I'm not, I'm not quite in the dark. But anyway, thanks again for joining me. And I hope you have an awesome weekend. We will see you all Monday night for That's Fancy. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.